Hello, my name is Håkon and welcome back to my channel where today I will address what is currently the most frequently asked question on my YouTube channel. And this seems to be something that people don't know about and so I thought I'd make a little video about it. Now, uh, very often you will see me use the Empress Effects Zoya synthesizer, effects box, uh, MIDI controller, sequencer, whatever you want it to be. The Zoya has MIDI ins and outs, but it has it on TRS mini jacks, which is the same as DIN MIDI. It's just that these pins here, or these, the tip ring and sleeve correspond to three other pins on this. It's just a conversion, simple conversion cable. But that means that when people ask on the Zoya forums, on Facebook or Reddit or wherever, about what controllers can I use with my Zoya, they restrict themselves very quickly to MIDI controllers that have DIN MIDI ins and outs. They shouldn't. And the reason is that people restrict themselves to that is because they don't realize that there is a way to connect USB MIDI to DIN MIDI, not directly, of course, but via uh, something called a MIDI USB host. Now, uh, a MIDI USB host, um, the whole idea with a MIDI USB host is you don't need to use your computer. Of course, if you use your computer with a MIDI interface or an audio interface with MIDI, you don't have to have this. You can connect the uh, USB MIDI controller to your computer and then the computer to the Zoya. But if you want it to be standalone, which is part of the point of using hardware, I think, to start with, this is a standalone unit. All it does, the only thing this does, a small one like this, is it has a USB input power, uh, which allows it enough power to power up the MIDI fighter twister. So that is bus power now. And then it has a MIDI output, which sends a signal from the MIDI fighter twister out. And also there's a MIDI input, which allows you to send signals back if you want to. So I can connect this now to my Zoya. So that is the, let's see, USB, or the MIDI input there. And that means that when I, of course now it's a little bit dark here, but if you, let's see, yeah, we can see it now. So, oh, the sunlight just came up and ruined my shot here now. Okay, I'm going to try to cover my window. So now the you can see this lights up when I'm doing this because now this is getting my I can push these uh, getting the MIDI from the MIDI fighter twister. So that is how easy it is. And the thing is, once you know about MIDI USB hubs like these, I'm just going to disconnect it now. Um, it's, it's very easy to, if you get one of these, that opens up a whole new world of MIDI controllers, like the MIDI Fighter Twister and uh, like other things that I have, like the, uh, the Korg Micro Key, which I think <laughs> is quite long, this is a 61 key version, um, which, now become available to you uh, to as controllers for hardware that is MIDI DIN only, which is absolutely brilliant. So all you need is something like this. Now, um, there are other options, of course. Uh, if you want just a box like this that does one thing and one thing only and allows you one connection here, although of course you could conceivably, I have not tried this, uh, connect a USB hub here and then get different MIDI from different places. Um, there are a few options there. There is the Dore MIDI USB MIDI host. There is uh, the Keith Macmillan MIDI expander. There is the MIDI tech USB MIDI host. Uh, those are the three I could find quickly. And if you want something that's a little bit more serious, uh, iConnectivity 
create uh, MIDI interfaces that both can be connected to the computer or work standalone uh, that have uh, both uh, MIDI ins and outs, but also multiple host feature as well. So the iConnectivity Mio XM, for instance, has, uh, I think it is four USB host inputs. Uh, as well as for MIDI ins and outs. So that is, if you want something that is a little bit more future-proof and you may want to connect more than one thing to it, that will work as a MIDI USB host, MIDI USB hub, MIDI interface, MIDI to computer interface as well. So um, that is probably the one to go for if you want something more complex and flexible than this. Right, but... There we go. It's very easy to connect USB MIDI devices to DIN MIDI devices. All you need is a MIDI USB host. Thank you very much.